August 17, 1979. It's a summer day that Orlando Sorrell can never forget. He's 10 years old and playing baseball. Suddenly, he's down. A ball has hit him on the left side of his head. My hair is swelling, or I didn't know what was what. I just felt the pain on my left side of the head. Then, out of the blue, he notices a strange ability, something he could never do before. I have the ability to give me any date from now back to 79. I can tell you that day the week it fell on. Overnight, the boy who loved to play baseball becomes a spontaneous savant, a genius at calendar calculating. June 30th, 1992 is a Tuesday. September 18th, 1984 is a Tuesday. May 21st, 1980 is a Wednesday. Orlando insists he's neither memorizing nor calculating the dates. But I have a better thing to do than sit down and study a calendar. And since the accident, Orlando can also recall the weather for most days in Virginia where he lives. March 2nd, 1980 is a Sunday when we had a snow blizzard. Orlando is mystified by his peculiar gift and also by its strange limitations. He has absolutely no special abilities when it involves any day prior to his accident. His story fascinates Dr. Alan Snyder. The fact that Orlando Sorrell can get hit on the head and suddenly erupt in calendar calculations where there had been none before, no interest whatsoever, to me, proves that savant skills exist on us all. Dr. Snyder thinks Orlando could provide essential evidence for his theory. So he introduces him to Dr. Joy Hirsch of Columbia University, a colleague in New York City. Orlando agrees to participate in an experiment that has never been done before with a spontaneous savant, a brain scan by an extraordinary machine. Functional magnetic resonance imaging is a very new technique that allows us to look at not only the structure of the brain, which is what conventional magnetic resonance does, but allows us to see how the brain really works. And this is going to be your movie screen. Okay. So everything that we show you, we're going to put on that screen, and you're going to see it through that mirror. Functional MRI detects what parts of the brain are active when a person is thinking or seeing, hearing or moving. Each one of the line represents a, an axial view of the brain. The experiment takes pictures of 25 different slices of the brain and measures changes in blood flow, so researchers can see what specific parts of the brain are active when the brain performs different tasks. For the first time ever, scientists will get a snapshot of a savant's brain in action. Keeping his head very still, Orlando reads questions about the calendar and the weather, He's asked only to think of the answers, not to say them. Then he's given similar questions, this time verbally. Again, he's asked only to think the answer. It's important to do the test both ways, because the brain processes visual and auditory information in different areas. Dr. Hirsch will zero in only on activity that is the same in both tests. When the experiment is over, Dr. Hirsch shows Orlando the test results. So clearly, what we learned from this is that your whole brain is involved. 26 areas in the right hemisphere and 35 areas in the left are involved when Orlando calculates calendar dates. In 21 areas, the left and right hemispheres mirror each other. For example here, the middle frontal gyrus is active on both sides of the brain. Some areas that light up are surprising. Like here, the limbic system, which is associated with emotion, is active. Did you know that all this was happening in your brain when you were doing this task? I know there was a whole lot of stuff going in it, but I mean... <laughs> I mean. In Sydney, Dr. Snyder is particularly struck by this scan of Orlando's brain remembering the weather performing a memory task. Compare it to this scan, which shows the brain calendar calculating. 
The two scans are very different. Proof, he says, Orlando is not predominantly using memory when he calculates the weekdays. Many people have argued that calendar calculating savants do it by memory. But now we know from Dr. Hirsch's results that Orlando does not use memory. Even more exciting is a comparison between this scan of Orlando calendar calculating and this scan of a person doing arithmetic. While Orlando's brain is much more active, both scans light up in the medial frontal gyros, an area associated with computation. Orlando is using the same areas of the brain that we use when we do, consciously do, arithmetic. But Orlando's not doing arithmetic. He's unconsciously tapping into those areas. Instead, Dr. Snyder believes that Orlando taps into the part of the brain that he hypothesized exists in all of us. The part which quickly processes information and can even do lightning-fast arithmetic.